Hi everybody, I'm Deku Tony, and welcome to a different kind of video. Today we're going to talk about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You know that game that everybody's talking about and making speculation videos and then leaked videos and... Might as well do one myself, right? So, what we're going to do today? Um, we're going to speculate about a rather surprising character being playable in the game. And who am I talking about? Well, we're going to talk about the sandbag. <laughs> yes? Yes, really. We Seriously, we're going to talk about sandbag being a potential newcomer for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So one of the best key points regarding Sandbag is inclu possible inclusion in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Well, you look at him. He's a good boy, that's kid and cuddly, and will let you hug him if you need it. Ever you ever had a bad day, he's there for you. You, you know? Also, he's a responsible family man that takes care of his family and has a wife and two kids. Okay, maybe not, I don't know about his private life. Also, he's in, been in every single Smash game since Melee and Home Run Contest has been his full-time job since 17 years. That's... I feel pretty old. He's also an OG creation from Masahiro Sakurai himself. Donut Steel. But yeah, uh, to tell you the truth, I've been wanting to play as him for more than 10 years ever since I first played Melee. Back when I was like 10 years old, so I always wanted to play as him and that's why... That's the actual reason why I'm making this video. Just to... You know, just to tell how much I want him playable in the game. Because there's possibly n will never be another chance I'll get to do this. So might as well take the chance. Now let's start with some fun facts and misc information about Sandbag and his history in the Smash Brothers series, okay? First off, in Melee, Sandbag at one point was being created as his own character back in Melee. You can see this in the debug menu and on the data of the game. He's able to jump, walk, grab items, and airdrop items. Doing anything else crashes the game. Which is, you know, pretty strange that Sandbag is able to do all those things, being just stand, standing still and really doing nothing in the game. But, okay, there's this early screenshot that shows the Zelda symbol, the Triforce, instead of the smash symbol right under his stock icon. You know, like how every character in every smash game has like their logo associated with them. Like in the game, the character select and on a battle, you know, right under the stock icon or something like that. His icon is for some reason the Triforce instead of the smash logo. I don't know why this is. Okay, maybe I do know. Probably because his character data was based off someone from the Zelda series. Like a Zelda, maybe. And it's really interesting to see. Now, another thing is that Ditto was going to be a Pokemon in Melee. However, he was caught, but in, is he still in the game? He's very unfinished, and supposedly he was meant to copy the opponent and attack the foe. And now, Ditto is now in Smash Ultimate and does nearly the exact same thing he was supposed to do back in Melee. That, that's pretty interesting. 
like some sort of crane or scrap for unfinished ideas from past MASH games have been introduced in this new game, such as this Sukapon Assist Trophy. If you want to know more about that, you can check out Source Gaming's video about the matter. And here's an interesting fact. Sandbag can play the home run contest with himself. Like, you can set a record with him for some reason. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. And that's really it with Melee. Now let's go with Brawl and see what we can find about that game. First off, and the most important thing, is that he was demoted to be an item, but he's still treated as a character in the way that he can take damage, get knocked back, and has hurt boxes like a character. Of course, this was just meant for the home run contest, but it's pretty interesting. Also, for actual hidden data, the cutting room floors page on Brawl states that Sandbag has unused animations when being held in a grab, which is interesting because you couldn't do that in Melee. However, he probably was cut because he was demoted to an item, but also he has a missing animation when he's being held by Snake. So that's, that's odd that they even made those animations in the first place. And that's really it for Brawl. Now let's move on to Smash 4 when there's some more strange stuff regarding the character, okay? He's still treated as an item in the game, but he made an appearance in Little Max reveal trailer for some reason. Probably because Sandbag is a punching bag and Little Max punches things. Yeah, then that, that makes sense. But also, he has an unused stock icon in the data. And the stock icon is pretty much the same render used for Brawl. Which is strange. So probably this is very early on in development or something. Because here's the thing about Sandbox. His design always changes. Like, he looks different in every single game he's in. Probably with the exception of Ultimate, but that's that's a given considering some of the returning characters from Smash 4 to Ultimate look almost identical. Which leads me to the actual speculation part of the video. So, where do I begin here? So, okay, as far as I've seen, Sandbag does not appear in the E3 demo. For some reason, for some very strange reason, he doesn't show up in the demos for all the footage I've seen of the demo. He's not present in any of the footage I've seen. The same thing goes for the home run bat item, which is really interesting. So, a few months ago, like a couple of months ago, I made a thread on Reddit that pretty much asked the people that has anyone seen Sandbag in the demo? Like he made a thread about it and it seems that a lot of people haven't seen him either. Or at least at that point, which we're going to get into later. Also in E3, Nintendo put on a sandbag statue at their booth, the Golden Hammer item. And many character related weapons and accessories were displayed with him. Even though Sandbag isn't really a character, but... You know, that's not really, that doesn't really mean anything for him, honestly. But then, on their Twitter, on Nintendo of America's Twitter, they show a couple of photos of Mr. Sakurai posing alongside some of the items displayed at the booth. One of those photos was Sakurai in a fighting pose about to punch the sandbag statue. I mean, it looks funny. Uh, 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 but why will he punch Sandbag? What has he done to Sakurai to make him punch him? I, I, I'm really concerned about him. Like seriously, give, give the guy a vacation, okay? So the fact that 
he took himself a screenshot next to saying that might mean nothing. Or might mean something, I don't know. We're talking about the community speculating of skulking because of freaking chairs and cushions in the background. So why can't I do the same thing? Right? Then, after E3, the Smash Wiki updated the Sandbag page to include confirmation, quote unquote, that Sandbags will return in Ultimate, despite never showing up in the demo. This is, this is strange. Which led me to the actual first point of speculation I want to make about the character. Now, why? Will he not be in the demo? I mean, he's one of the easiest items to put into Ultimate because he's so white, he just stands there taking punches. Why will he not show, not show up in the demo? It doesn't make too much sense to me. He, you will think he will be one of the easiest things to port over from Smash Wii U. But, but why is he not present? in the demo, especially when a lot of the characters in Smash Ultimate look almost identical to how they look in Smash Wii U, you will think that someone like Sandman, who's pretty much all grey and white, will be one of the easiest things to port over and will take with just like one day or a couple of hours to put into Ultimate, but no. He's not there. It's very strange that he doesn't sh show up in the demo. And we've seen the demo a lot for like months. And all of this time we haven't seen Sandbag in any form in the demo. Why is that the case? I, I, I don't understand. Okay, also on the website on the Smash Brothers website, there is no sign of sandbag. Like, that's also very strange because in the item section of the site, a lot of returning items show up, except, except him and the home run bat, which is strange. Again, you will think that that will be one of the easiest things to do. But again, she's missing. But then, this August Smash Direct was broadcast to live on the 8th. Then he showed a ton of information about the game we, that we all know at this point. Including the announcement of five new characters like K. Rule and Simon Belmont. But then, in the Direct, he showed some rules, options and some new enhanced modes. And before showing all these modes individually, it first shows a screenshot of fighters doing things related to the modes in question. One of these screenshots was the revamped training mode. And the screenshot they show up is really interesting. It shows Lil Mac about to punch the sandbag on the training stage. Now this is the first time in the entire time we've seen the game that Sandbag shows up, but he only shows up as a in a screenshot, not even in actual footage, which is, you know, really strange. Again, he will be one of the easiest things to port over from Smash with you, so why only show him in a screenshot? And also, why show him instead of another fighter, considering how every other screenshot Except for one that shows up all these modes, only show fighters. Except for core one screenshot, which is the Corneria stage. That's pretty interesting. It's also interesting how they show up sand back up until that point. Why is, now why he's not shown up everywhere else for the next few months? That's also a good question. Also in the direct, the home run contest mode wasn't shown off either. Even though the multi man, the target test and other modes weren't shown off in the direct. I mean this could mean nothing but it also feels a little bit off that they didn't show all these modes. 
Jet Sandbag is there confirmed to be in the game, but we still don't know exactly how will be what role he will have in the game. And of course, I know it's an easy thing to think to say that he's going to remain an item and he is, will always be an item, but it's rather strange that we haven't seen that much of him being this very simple cylinder character and we haven't seen much of him. That's kind of strange and a little bit suspicious, you know. One small thing is that it seems that they're taking inspiration from other fighting games. They have a super meter, or in this instance, a final smash meter, as, th as they're calling it. It curiously resembles a f Smash fan game's ma final smash meter, called Smash Brothers Crusade, which was a fan game released in 2015, and coincidentally, the same amount of time that the final project plan for Ultimate was made in December of that same year, you know, some, some little detail that I noticed. And there's a small chance, and I mean very small, that some things from Ultimate were inspired by fan projects like Project M, for example. But I I don't think this is entirely true. I mean, this is stretching it a bit too far. Like, even for this video standards of pushing things far with someone like Sandbag to be a character. Alright, let's just assume that this is true, okay? If this is true, and if Sandbag is playable as the joke slash surprise character, or, you know, for this game standard, because we got K. Rule and Ridley, you will assume that those two will be surprise characters, even though they pretty much showcase what will be the approach for selecting newcomers in this game, so it's, they're not surprises for this game's standards, but for this game's standards, Sandbag will fit in really well as a joke sur slash sur surprise character, or something like that. And if this is true, and Ultimate has a lot of inspiration from friend, friend projects, Sandbag's inclusion may be inspired on Super Smash Bros. 2, which is the most polished and well-respected Smash fan game out there, where Sandbag is a playable character. So, besides being an inspiration, the moveset is already set in place for him there, because there is already a lot of things done with his moveset. Of course, in Ultimate's case, it will be a lot more polished, and there will be some changes to make it akin more to a typical Smash game. But you will think someone like Sandman will be easy to make a moveset for, or just to program in general. Besides, he will be the ultimate joke character. <laughs> you know, in Smash Ultimate? Yeah, okay. I mean, I will be I will get really sad if he, he gets the confirm as an item because I've been wanting him for over 10 years. Though, if he does get the confirm, there's this small chance, there's a very small chance that he could be still a DLC character, a free DLC character in the game, like some sort of celebration gift after the game sell like a million copies or two. Which we all know is going to happen like really early on. And he will be part of a free balance update or something like that. He will be free and not paid because technically we already have him in the game. And making pay DLC will be very, very, very questionable. But you know, something interesting to think about. Then Nintendo showed off a lot of footage of K. Rool, Chrome and Dark Samus and Isabel has been revealed since September but yes still we have no sand back in sight we still haven't seen him even after all these reveals and all this fo new footage we've gotten so that's also pretty interesting 
Now, before I end this video, I know a lot of you are thinking, Hey, <laughs> lol, it's the sandbag of all characters. What a waste of a character slot. Who's next? Fire flower? Capsule? A crate? You know, stupid wooden crate? <laughs> you nice joke, dude. LMFAO XD. Now, here's the thing. The reason I love Sandbag so much is because he's cute. Okay, besides the fact that he's cute, he's been through so much over 17 plus years. He's been so relatable to a lot of people because he takes a lot of hits. He's been through a lot in his life, since 17 years of life. Yet he's still there, he's still standing still, proudly taking hits for the team. And he's still, you know, he's still moving on with his life. He's, he's an inspiration, I tell you. And the thing about Sandbag that compares him to every other item in the game that he's created as his own character technically. He's created as a he meaning he's his it's his his own sentient character. So comparing him to every other item is kind of unfair, honestly. And I'm not the only one that wants him. There's like a very small amount of people that want him playable because he's just so lovable kind of he's kind of like this strange punching bag with eyes that a lot of people grew up with and just people like him because i don't know there's there's many other reasons why people like him i can't name you all of them because i have my own reasons but his fan base is there. It's pretty small, but it's still there. How small is it? Well, the Smashboards support page for Sandbag is pretty, pretty small. Like, like 20 something supporters on that page. On that thread, I mean. Besides, the, after getting abused, and for more than 17 years, he deserves it, okay? He deserves to punch back. He deserves to be the, ironically, the Smash representative for this Smash game. He's, he's about time for him to punch back after 17 years. And after 17 years of having wholesome trophy descriptions. And by the way, I'm not changing my mind about that. Like, they're, they're very wholesome. But I still want him in the game. Would you really think, you know, would you really think that Sakurai would do something like this? No? Exactly. That's, that's, that's what he wants us to think. You wouldn't expect it, wouldn't you? And that's exactly what he wants. He He's going to make it... In, in a way that he will surprise everybody that he's even playable because we will never expect something like that and he always does the unexpected we, we've seen him so far with almost everything in this game every veteran coming back with Ridley being in the game, with K. Rool being in the game with all these fan favorite characters having a Huge shot to be in this game like Gino and Skull Kid and all these characters that we we been wanting for years. You know the whole everybody's here slogan then pushing towards especially with Sandbag who's been there technically. I think it's time for Sandbag to finally punch back. Hashtag Sandbag for Smash. Anyway that's the whole video. I know this is a very long video, this is very long, I'm sorry for making this a very long video. However, if you want more Smash Ultimate related videos like this one from me, uh, go. you can give it a like and comment below if you want more 
smash content like this. Like maybe you want to see me predict the, the final roster for the game. Or maybe you want to know what are my top 10 most wanted characters for the game or something like that. I don't know. If you want it, you can comment on it saying that you want those types of videos from me. You can also subscribe if you want to. And until we make another video like this again, <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye.